Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to today's session on critical reasoning. Uh, in this critical reasoning today, it is uh, on assumptions and arguments. In fact, so here, what is an assumption? Assumption is an unstated fact. Assumption is a unstated fact on which your statement is based, and which assumption is said to be implicit. An assumption is said to be implicit if it is not explicitly present in the given passage or given uh, statement. Okay, and it is logical. It is logical to take the assumption. Take that assumption for our statement or argument. Statement or argument. So here, see, uh, see the first question here. The dream laboratory at the University of Toronto's Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering is what to tackle some issues. Its team of engineers uses chemical coatings or additives to change how surfaces behave. Often with dramatic results, and one of its uh, latest discoveries is a chemical that can make the surface of textiles more slippery, making the microplastics less likely to break off. So, which of the following is the assumption made in the argument? So, first one, the primary purpose. The primary purpose of the team of engineers at the dream laboratory and university of toronto's department is to ensure that microplastics don't break off no it is not a implicit assumption it is not a implicit assumption because it is too narrow as it is one of the applications that the research in the passage refers to moreover it is clearly stated in the statement so that's the uh, hence it fails to represent an assumption so one is not a implicit assumption what about two option b the research is going to going on to deal with issues and challenges related to the surface of textiles it is a implicit assumption for the given argument in the statement or given passage because see uh, the conclusion and the central theme of the given passage resolves around using chemical coatings or additives on the surface of textiles to address certain challenges and find solutions. Find solutions. So you can say B is the correct assumption. B is the right assumption for the given passage, for the given statement, for the given statement. So answer B is correct. Answer first one B is correct. I hope you are following because assumption is something the base for the statement. What would have been the thought while giving the passage? Okay, that one we have to identify. Now, please see second question here. Second question, what is given? We have pretty good in index of uh, most highly cited sociologists of all time. Quorum 2020. And many uh, retrospectives recounting which sociologists are important and where sociology should go for a detailed survey and uh, meta analysis. See Levine 1995. But there has been no systematic index of what has been striking from the record. Cited works which have been forgotten, neglected, and repressed in sociological discourse and forgetting is as fundamental to understanding the development of sociology as remembering so which of the following is a assumption so please try to understand here what is the uh, first one given the sociological citations and uh, discourses that have even that have been neglected are are missing have been quite substantial about the subject and the knowledge that could be imparted that could be imparted so is it a implicit assumption i don't think because it is very far-fetched assumption 
which claims that cited works that have been forgotten, neglected, and repressed in sociological discourse have been essential about uh, the context, about the context, so which is not an implicit assumption. Implicit assumption. What about B? Efforts are being made to retrieve the repressed and missing sociological citations and discourses from the index. It can be taken as an inference, but not an assumption, not an assumption. So, it, it refers to an action plan. Next, action plan. So, based on the conclusive statement of the passage, it is an inference. It is a inference of the passage, but it cannot be taken as an assumption. It is implied from the second, uh, it is implied that the cited works have been forgotten, neglected and repressed in sociological discourse. Thus, it can be it can be inference, but it cannot be a assumption. It can be inference. Okay. Now, what about C? Third one: forgetting about sociological sociological uh, citations and discourses is as important as remembering them. It is not as it is not an assumption. It's an evaluation that can be deduced from the conclusive statement or the premises. Which states, uh, which states that forgetting is an fundamental to understanding the development of sociology as remembering. So, it, it is not an assumption, it is not an assumption, it is a deduction. So, it is not an assumption, it is not an assumption, it is a deduction. Okay, now what about D? So, there have been several sociological citations and discourses that are missing from the index. And there is no record, there is no record for, uh, to found them, to found them. So, option D is the implicit assumption, implicit assumption. Because the sociologists are important and it is fundamental to understand where sociology should go according to the context, right? So, further leads to the discussion of how cited works have been forgotten, neglected and are repressed in sociological discourse. So, I will go with option D. Option D as a implicit assumption. Implicit assumption. Right. Now, please see here. Third question. Third question. Please see third question. Jane proposed a multi-scale detection Revar net, Revar net network with an embedded attention mechanism based on YOLO V5 to solve the problem of missed and false detection in dense small object detection. He proposed integrating coordinate attention into the backbone of the deep network, enhancing the expression ability of features and the precision of detection and recognition. Tan proposed adding one more detection branch based on the YOLO V5 structure which can improve the efficiency of detection and, in, and recognition for small targets. Yuan proposed the feature fusion method of multi-scale adaptive which can retain more useful feature information. It can improve the precision of detection and recognition for multi-scale targets. Multi-scale targets. So, what is the valid assumption here? The first one, please see. Various researchers have made very uh, valuable propositions to improve small object detection and recognition and the expression ability of its features and precision. It is not an assumption, it is a conclusion, it is a conclusion, so it cannot be assumption, it cannot be a assumption. So, proposals laid by various research, uh, researchers that work on multi-scale detection and recognition for small targets may fail because of the incomprehensibility of various researchers. It is a paradox and an inference that can lead to another matter of study, so it is not a what uh, assumption. Researchers focus on 
various solutions various solutions to enhance dense small object detection detection and recognition for multi scale targets option c is one of the facts which has been given in the statement it is a restatement restatement cannot be a assumption it is a fact given in the given passage so it cannot be a assumption so option c is not the answer now see the option d what do you have several industries need research on multi scale small object detection and recognition which can make their operation security and reliability smooth so option d is correct so the right assumption that leads to the appropriate conclusion of main statement your assumption lead to the appropriate conclusion so see according to the according to the option d several industries need research on multi scale small object detection and recognition to make their operations security and reliability smooth this assumption can lead to the stated conclusion that a future a feature fuse what is given a feature fusion method of multi scale adaptive can retain more useful more useful feature information and improve the precision of detection and recognition for small uh, what for multi scale targets multi scale targets the conclusion is based on this assumption this assumption assumption leads to conclusion leads to conclusion so option d is valid valid assumption i hope it is clear now see the fourth question the students academic achievement is one of the finest examples that uses an ai based approach it is better than those learning through the traditional method it can be highly personalized allowing students to learn at their own pace and in a way best suited to their individual needs and learning styles engaging them in the self assessment process the age expertise and current grade of every child is a grading measure to verify how well every student can decipher and comprehend this all based ai based ai based ai based approach which of the following is an assumption made in the argument a a is not a tool that can be incorporated in every industry and cannot be beneficial to all within or to all within one so option a i will go with option a to be the correct uh, assumption because see here the statement poses the uh, because see the, the statement is posing the implicit but unstated cause of the conclusion derived in the main statement first of all it can be assumed that a cannot be applied to all industries and secondly considering the education industry is an example it can be evident how the age expertise and grade of every child measures the need of measures the need measures the need as yes i know and the implementation of a based approaches that's the reason i will go with uh, this first one as a implicit assumption implicit assumption i hope it is clear understand option a is correct option a is a valid assumption so you need not check for the remaining a uh, then question number 5 question number 5 what we have here please see it is important to understand the mechanisms by which cyber criminals can tweak chat gpt and turn it into a potential cyber threat agent researchers need to briefly highlight the defensive facet of chat gpt in cyber security shed light on the potential uh, adver what adversarial usage of chat gpt in the context of cyber security through illustrative use case uh, illustrative use cases and uh, what scenarios and discuss the implications of the dark side of ai powered conventional agents which of the following is an assumption in the argument so if you see the option a chat gpt 
have its pros and cons. While it poses a severe cyber threat, measures should be taken to combat that. It is very close, but let me let me also check the others. Chat GPT is an imminent threat to cyber security that has several use cases and scenarios that deficit depict its uh, what obscurity and dangers chat gpt has revolutionized the ai based advanced technology however its uh, combative usage cannot be ignored so option c i will go with option c as the correct assumption correct assumption because it correctly assumes that chat gpt has revolutionized the ai based advancing technology and is a boon for several however this assumption leads to the conclusion that despite benefits despite benefits its combative usage is not uh, ignored so i will go with option c as the implicit assumption for this statement or argument mentioned in the passage next then sixth one sixth one the world is changing very fast the world is changing very fast due to the emergence of technology in our everyday lives this tremendous change can be noticed in different areas including education students are influenced by the digital era surrounded by technology and working with a massive amount of digital information on everyday basis they are used to interactive they are, they are used to interactive environments and fast communication and prefer learning doing by uh, prefer learning by doing so students require active learning environments using the possibilities of various technology applications to gain knowledge they seek more interesting fun motivating and engaging learning experiences learning experiences so which of the following is an assumption made in the argument below so out of the four which is the valid assumption valid assumption please see the first one traditional learning environments where students sit and listen to the information provided by the teachers are unacceptable for them so option a is a implicit assumption because it is logically if you uh, it logically assumes that traditional learning methods are unacceptable for students who now prefer only digital and moral learning techniques as concluded in the main statement as yes i know the world is changing very fast due to the emergence of technology in everyday lives this tremendous change can be noticed in different areas including education students are influenced by digital era surrounded by technology and working with a massive amount of digital information on everyday basis so they are used to interactive environments and fast communication and prefer learning by doing students require active learning environments using the possibilities of various technology application applications to gain knowledge they seek more interesting fun motivating and engaging learning experiences so what can be assumed here traditional learning environments where students should sit and listen to the information provided by the teachers are unacceptable for them no yes so it is correct it is a valid assumption valid assumption for this argument for this argument so answer is uh, option a what about seventh let us go to the seventh question in the last decade in the last decade the game based approach has received increasing attention increasing attention in the research community due to its potential to increase students motivation and engagement promoting a student centered learning environment implementation of a game based learning approach can provide students with an engaging motivating and uh, stimulating environment supporting them to focus on the task and increasing overall learning experiences moreover game based learning has the potential to improve students competencies and academic performance 
which of the following is a implicit assumption if you see the first one many researchers show that digital game based learning is becoming a powerful tool in education making learning more enjoyable easier and efficient it is not a assumption it is a conclusion that follows from the facts whatever the facts given based on that it can be a conclusive fact it can be a conclusive fact but not a assumption game based game based learning enables the development of problem solving decision making decision making and strategic planning skills it is discussing the option b discusses on the on the effects of the conclusion on the effects of the conclusion but not the causes are implicit unstated occurrences so i cannot see b as a assumption let's see about option c option c what we have here technologies are technologies like game based learning are influencing every industry especially the education and academic sectors option c is correct so as it states that game based learning influences every industry including the education including the education and the academic industries the conclusion comes from this assumption this assumption so option c is implicit option c is implicit so what about option d educational games promote active and self directed learning enabling students to learn from authentic situations and receive immediate feedback it can be a inference which follows the conclusion which follows the conclusion but not a assumption not a assumption so answer is here option c option c is the assumption that can be implicit for the given statement or argument in the passage next question number 8 question number 8 the african union commission auc to the department of science technology and innovation had made a recent attempt to bring experts and stakeholders together through the african regional multi stakeholder meeting on oas in 2020 while this is a good first step it is imperative that this this be sustained this be sustained it is not clear if there is a road map timeline and strategy for achieving the set goals declared in the regional meeting regional meeting so here irrespective of the efforts that are made by the auc in propagating os everything goes down the drain if there is no definitive strategy on road map it is a valid assumption valid assumption because it is evident from the conclusion evident uh, evident from the conclusion that uh, if the auc lacks vision the auc lacks vision and there is no road map there is no road map timeline and strategy for achieving the set goals all efforts made by auc since 2020 may fail to implement the ways driven in uh, africa driving africa driving africa so that's the reason option a is the implicit assumption implicit assumption we can take so option a is the answer option a is the answer it's very clear then question number 9 question number 9 the main aim the main aim of analyzing all of the data in the e-commerce and retail industry e-commerce and retail industry is to forecast the demand and consumer behavior ahead of the launch of new products an activity that is very complicated due to the incredible amount of data generated by the integration of online and offline orders and by the very nature of the business of retail an industry characterized by high volatility making it challenging to predict trends with precision which of the following is a assumption made in the argument so you see the first one first one it is quite a challenging task to predict trends and customer behavior in the retail business yet following the online seo trends 
and proper testing of the latest consumer demands can help business launch innovative products. Option A is option A. What is it doing incorrectly reasons SEO trends and testing techniques to assess consumer behavior in the market, which cannot be assumed as it does not uh, uh, lead to the the main conclusion of statement. The main conclusion of statement. That's why it is not a valid assumption. Now, what about B? Please see here. It is extremely difficult to forecast the trends and consumer demands in the retail business. Nevertheless, proper scrutiny and analysis of big data can help gain insights into the latest consumer behavior. Option B is the right answer as it appropriately suggests the analysis and measurement of data which will lead to better insights into consumer behavior as projected by the conclusion of the passage. So you can say option B is the implicit assumption. What about option C here? Projecting consumer behavior and offering personalized and customized products to the target audience based on demand, need demographics and location. Option C is incorrect. It is incorrectly what attributes the outcome of offering personalized and customized products to the target audience based on demand, need and demographics and location. So it is not a implicit assumption. Implicit assumption. What about D? What about D? It assumes that uh, it is imperative to draw forecast regarding consumer behavior based on digital marketing trends if business wants to succeed in launching a new set of products. So option D, option D inappropriately assumes that projecting digital marketing trends can lead to useful insights into consumer behavior. But the central idea of the conclusion, which is based on data analysis, data analysis has not been considered, has not been considered. That's why option D is not implicit. The main conclusion is based on data analysis, data analysis, which is not considered, which is not considered. So it is not an implicit assumption. So what about D? E. Option E. Predicting trends and consumer behavior in the e-commerce and retail industry is a straightforward task and uh, the integration of online and offline orders doesn't significantly contribute the complexity of forecasting. So it is incorrect because it presents in uh, overly optimistic, overly optimistic and uh, counterfactual view of the argument. The passage emphasizes, the passage emphasizes the complexity of the forecasting demand and consumer behavior in the e-commerce and retail industry due to integration of online and offline orders, high volatility and incredible amount of data. So option E is not a, is not a implicit assumption. So you can say option A is a option A, option B is a, option B is option B is correct uh, assumption. Why? Because option B, why option, option B is correct? Because uh, see, uh, it approximately suggests that analysis and measurement of data, which will lead to better insights into consumer behavior as projected by the conclusion passage, conclusion of passage by doing, by doing data analysis, data analysis. So option B is a implicit assumption, implicit assumption. Now see, let us see the next one. Question number 10. Another innovation, another innovation that is generating a formidable amount of fresh data is the Internet of Things. A proposed development of the Internet in which many everyday objects are embedded with microchips giving them network connectivity, allowing them to send and receive data. Big data and IoT can, can enable a large volume of data for achieving, for achieving scalability in mass personalization. A very interesting aspect of this data 
generation and analysis is the signals these technologies signals these technologies can for can gather from people's unspoken wants the dynamic answer to mass personalization would be mass personalization would be ideally generated from analyzing the gathered data and signals by making reliable predictions about certain purchasing patterns now which is the correct assumption iot iot and big data are the key to success in mass personalization of goods and services it cannot be taken as a assumption option a is more of a factual trend factual trend which is already claimed within the within the conclusion the fact cannot be taken as a assumption so here option a is not a implicit assumption now what about option b personalization of products can be based on gathered data and signals and by making reliable predictions about certain purchasing patterns actually option b is inappropriate as the assumption the assumption reiterates the essence of conclusion however it fails to incorporate the use of technology or iot and big data in achieving the end end result so here option b cannot be the answer what about c iot and big data helps in predicting the wants and needs of consumers and helps business gain a competitive advantage advantage among peers so option c is a option c is a invalid assumption but far fetched inference it's a far fetched inference which talks about uh, gaining a competitive edge among peers it, it can be taken as a far fetched inference but not a assumption what about option d if you see option d technology and automation can help organizations make valuable predictions about consumer behavior market trends and the current demand so if you see here option d is the right answer option d is the right answer this assumption the assumption the assumption that technology in the form of big data and iot should be through assessed which can eventually help in achieving scalability in mass personalization and uh, gauging reliable predictions about certain purchasing patterns hence this is the only option i could see i could see uh, that leads to the factual conclusion given the main statement so here option d is correct option d is correct the signal gathered from iot devices are always accurate and reliable indicate indicators of consumer preferences and behaviors option e is also incorrect because it presents an assumption that that contradicts the complexities that contradicts the complexities and limitations uh, inherent uh, in data collection and analysis especially from iot devices so i can say this is not a valid assumption valid assumption so i will go with option d option d is implicit assumption implicit assumption i hope you have understood the approach the approach what we are doing in each and every question what we are doing here in each and every question we are deriving the assumption we are identifying the assumption identifying the assumption involved in the passage or involved in the argument made by the author okay so for that what i am what i am doing what would have in the thought while giving that statement argument or passage that one we are identifying so it's a very important area in your critical reasoning uh, zone okay so in your critical reasoning uh, this assumptions arguments conclusions inferences these are very very important areas and definitely you will have a certain number of questions from these areas from these areas so you have to practice so many questions so now i have given some 10 questions uh, you no know, analysis there are more five questions i believe around 15 questions i have come up with uh, today the remaining five questions you can answer you can 
answer. So the assumption is something on which your statement is based. The base for your statement is the assumption. It is an unstated fact. Assumption is what? An unstated fact. You must identify the unstated or implicit part of the premise which must be true for the conclusion to be valid. So assumption is a statement that will not be precisely mentioned in the main statement but it is a point that you can refer to see what must have been true or what must have happened which lead to the conclusion of the premises. In simple words, assumption is nothing but a hidden evidence, hidden, hidden evidence or a hidden cause or a hidden fact that supports the conclusion. It should not be explicitly present. Okay, so based on these things you can answer the questions in uh, assumptions from your critical reasoning. So in the next uh, video of critical reasoning, I will come back I will come with few more interesting areas. Okay. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, we uh, meet in our next video. Thank you so much.